Okay. Let's try this one now. Okay, so we got Fisher certification here. This takes carboxylic acid to an ester. Okay? Uh, this um, esterification is all based on Le Chatelier's principle. Because it's going to be acid base reactions, they're equilibrium reactions. Okay? So the only way you can push this is to put one of the reactants in at a lot, okay? a, a high concentration. Okay? Um, and that'll push the reaction back. Okay? So you've got two reactants, benzoic acid and methanol. This is going to be in a solvent of methanol. That's the solvent. Okay? Where it says excess, that means excess, excess, excess. You know what I'm saying? It's the solvent. So it's really going to push that reaction towards the right. Okay? And that's why we actually have you know, this forward arrow there. But you need to put a little drop of acid in there. In fact, that acid is just catalytic. Okay? Okay. So, um, Gonna make your ester, let's go ahead and do it. So the first step of the reaction, like I thought uh, I didn't need to do, but let's do it anyway, um, is gonna be the reaction of the hydronium ion with methanol. Why? Because there's a, an immense amount of methanol you know, relative to the one drop of acid that you put in there. So it's highly unlikely that it would stay in the hydronium form to protonate this. Okay, so the first thing that's going to happen is that methanol is going to remove the proton from the hydronium ion. Okay, that's, that of course is going to give you <coughs> the active reagent to start the reaction plus water. doesn't really matter all that much. Okay? So, uh, let's go ahead and start this reaction. It was funny, I asked, or I was asked by one of my students the other day, um, are you, are you usually alone when you're, uh, recording videos? Because nobody ever talks, you know what I'm saying? Just like you're not doing right now. Even though, <laughs> even though I was trying to get you to do it. We deleted all the talking. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Said it out. So, so for me, I'm like, uh, yeah, dude, I'm, I'm sitting there just like talking to the wall, you know, the teaching, is, teaching the, the wall. The whiteboard is my friend. But I think that, you know, a lot of uh, YouTube people probably do that, you know, now that I think about it, you know. That would be so weird. That's how the medium is made, you know. Huh? That's how the medium is made. Yeah, sure. In somebody's dorm room. <laughs> it would just be weird to me, you know, to, to like, pretend. Like, I would at, at least need my cats there or something, you know. <laughs> <laughs> talk to you and be like, you get it? <laughs> That's actually not a bad idea. It's like organic meowmix commercial. <laughs> Pardon? Organic meowmix commercial. Yeah, there you go. Carbon, 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 That's going to sound stupid on the video. Well, it's uh, <laughs> there forever. For what? Your YouTube archaeologist. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Okay, so now you've got methanol by itself, right? It's going to attack the super electrophile. Remember that protonated um, carbonyl group is the super electrophile. Okay, so when it attacks that, um, this again is in equilibrium. Well, all of these reactions you'll see are in equilibrium. It goes from sp2 to sp3. Notice this one doesn't make a stereocenter. And it's intermediate. Correct. Um, no good. Right? So What's no good? This positive charge. Yeah. yeah. Very point the hydrogen. Uh-huh. Oh, that's not good either. Okay. Again, acid-base reaction, right? So, 
like that, we'll do it over to here though. So that's still an equilibrium. base reaction, right? So still in equilibrium. This is just a series, like I said, of acid base reactions. And uh, well after this one nucleophilic nucleophile electrophile. Why does it keep going from there? What's wrong with it like it is? Oh that's not a very it's, it's, um, that sp3 hybridized with all of those uh, no, oxygens around it, it ain't gonna, something. it's it ain't going to stay like that. So um, it's going to make water here, okay, um, or the you know oxy uh, oxy cation. That's going to come down. It's a good leaving group, right? It's going to kick that out, okay. So this again, this water. So. Let's just look at it. The water could come back and attack. So this is actually the So we've made our protonated product, right? So that's the ester that we want. Okay? But we still got water, we just made that. It could come back and attack like that, right, and then go backwards, but there's so little of this, you know, it's like, you know, you've got a sea of methanol and a couple molecules of water in there, so it's very unlikely that this will come back and attack, you know, so what we can effectively say is because of the concentration difference, this is our forward arrow, okay, does that make sense, okay, and I'm going to erase everything on the top here. So we can do that final step, which is just another acid-base reaction, of course. Um, you can use water or methanol, anything. In fact, let's just use general base. Probably methanol at this point. Um, well, yeah, and then you're going to wash it out. So maybe water, whatever. That's your product. So if you notice, it's like that same mechanism. You're making that electrophile, right? Super electrophile attack, acid base, acid base, acid base, until you get to the, you know, Le Chatelier's principle product, you know, if that makes sense. Is that cool? Any questions on that one?